I think just flat hot for the Royals game tonight. First pitch 94 ninth inning 83 degrees so hot and humid for this one this evening at Kauffman Stadium. Two parts to a heat wave. We will call it that daytime temperatures nighttime temperature. We don't cool off that much overnight. Lows are going to be in the 70s mainly maybe an 80 but mostly in the 70s. Here's how the highs are shaping up for tomorrow. 90 to 95 96 degrees and here in Kansas City oh about 94 to 95 there across the metro in any one location and we could see the highs you know popping up to around 95 or 96 and feel like conditions are going to be even hotter than that. Go with a mostly sunny. Occasionally we're going to have some clouds that billow up tomorrow. 94 degrees. All of us feeling the heat and only a few might have a shower or thunderstorm. That's why I only give it about a 20% chance of one or two for tomorrow. So with that heat index between 90 and 105 tomorrow, heat exhaustion possible. There's the symptoms you need to be aware of. Excessive sweating, cool, clammy skin. Those are usually the telltale signs of heat exhaustion. If you feel those, you need to get indoors and drink some water. Get in the shade and the air conditioner. That heat's going to go all the way through the weekend. About a 20% chance of, of a thunderstorm, so that's a low chance. Most of you are going to feel the heat. Only a few might have a shower and some cloud cover. The highest chance of rain and storms, I think that comes in next Tuesday and Wednesday. So you have to mark that down. You're probably going to have to water your lawn this weekend. I know I will be.